Welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. I'm in the middle of adventuring in the festering pit. Uh, here's the... Whoops. <laughs> here's the overall dungeon uh, you've explored so far. And I think that the dungeon's going to extend up to around here. So hopefully we can at least finish this... Uh, this segment of it today. This is actually a stairway up. I'm gonna fix that. Okay. How am I, how are our spell points doing? I've actually left this on pause for a long time. They're fine. Save the game. And where do I want to explore next? This feels like a there's like um a constant wall along this segment, so our only area of exploring is up through here or up this way. Uh, I don't want to go through the point drain again, so I'm gonna go around this way and start. I'm gonna go south through the toward the east. And end up over here. I have two groups of un of avians, uh, the normal and the undead kind. That is that is a bad thing, um, because I can't kill them both. I don't think on my first turn, which means they will almost certainly get off some of their. Oh, no, my spells got off in time. So the avians uh, have an ability where they cancel your entire turn. So theoretically, if they keep using that ability, every turn they can cancel your next turn. Which is super irritating. I almost wish the game didn't tell me how many experience points I was getting at this point, because I'm all too aware of the ratio between those experience point gains and how much it takes to get to a level. Which makes it sort of demoralizing. It's like, oh! I only need to fight 2,000 of those fights to go up a level. <laughs> it's an exaggeration, by the way. I'm trying to think what the number actually is. The number is actually 80 fights. It's not that many. It's a lot, but a, a number, I don't know, it's a number you can imagine progressing towards. Is this the world's most, un, like the world's least unhelpful sp Whatever. It's a spinner and it was just not, like, spinning me. It was clearly... Um... Trying to turn me, but it was just turning me in the same direction I was already facing. Okay, but that's curious. 
there's a one-way door, or one-way wall, here. I don't know why. Just to confuse me, I suppose. Oh, and the wall on top is one way the other way. Okay. I'm, I'm still kind of feeling like I'm missing the point of it. But it's mapped now. Turning this way and that <coughs> because, um, again, this allows me to see whether there's any special squares uh, in any of these locations. This time I decided to focus on the Siebel Rangers and I just stacked up two spells on them and it took killed them all because they have a withering ability. I think the Swamp Golems are the ones that were doing the breath attack on me, so I will focus on those. Oh, they do a, a group attack too. The black guards. I kind of want to just do some reliable damage to them, but because I think they're probably low in health already, but they're resisting everything. Oh, 
source of light just went out. I don't know whether I should fight them. I will fight them. Um, and I will assume that Elendor can kill them before they do any real damage. Yep. I actually don't know if Ixtal wizards are... very dangerous, but um, in general wizards tend to do things you don't want them to. Not in life, but in this game for sure. I mean, they're whatever. I'm not going to comment further on general wizardly behavior in life. I just not specific to the game. I dropped the adamantine sword because I think it's crap. I have stone blades to do infinite damage. I don't know why I want adamantine. Sword. Uh, so we have an adamantite helm. Who doesn't have an adamantite helm? Oh, and you have a Kato's Breast Bracer, which I consider useless. Getting rid of that. Okay, the, my warrior, Grisnak, and Paladin. Shield have adamantite helms. Elena does not. Is this better? It's just the same as this long unidentified helm. Okay, I need to make space on my bar to try it out on her. Uh, I guess the death drum. Temporarily go to Lilium. Find the bard always in some full. What kind of helm do you have anyway? Oh, you have an adamantine helm. Okay, so. Casters, but I expect that they can't use it. Okay, dropping it. No longer need adamantite helms, that they're no longer a necessary item. Or no longer a useful item. Stairs near means we're near the end of the level, because we're seeing the stairs on the wraparound. So, it seems that this is actually a square dungeon. Does it look like that to you? Of that, I guess these squares are taller than they are wide. Anyway, uh, so this is a 15 by 15 grid. Let's go back. Is it aligned with the grid? Yes, it is. So these larger lines tell me in advance where the edge of the dungeon is going to be. Just a way for you to, me to remember what I determined. What did I see there? I saw stairs and special. 
and I stepped forward and it's gonna load a fight <laughs> so I can't tell what it's, what it's gonna say uh, wizards and ape soldiers I could sure use more uh, more harmonic gems and more mage staffs. Specifically, one more mage staff. Yeah, that's just weird. From here, sees stairs near and something special and when I step forward it no longer sees the stairs it's like there are stairs in this corner that go away when I get closer found that in this dungeon I'm in this tile set this wall set I'm pretty bad at reliably determining the distance between um, walls and doors in some cases like basically when things are far away or when things are on the corner When I first played these games, I was uh, probably hunting, pecking with um, very slow entry like M I B L, and it's a, I make a whole different series of errors. Touch typing the names of the spells. I wouldn't make many errors at all if I was touch typing naturally, but um, you can't. You have to let go of each key before pressing the next key. which makes it feel kind of clunky and strange. So, I misjudged on this wall. See at least three panels? Is that three or four? I guess I can figure this out another way. Can I see the wall there? Yes. Okay, because my spell can see things that are four away, so my they must be three away. Another explorer 
south. I guess I feel like the northeast is like maybe where the dungeon will advance or move on, and I want to find all the things. something, whatever a something is, again. And this one too. So three away, you can see the something, whatever. Okay. North says spinner. And still, from this position, There's a spinner, one of these two. But I didn't see a spinner facing this way. So it must be there. Similar spinner here, although uh, I guess I know the same amount about it. Which is here. Okay. To the south, nothing. To the east, nothing. Fight one extra Corsair. The usual thinking is um, if you need item upgrades, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing a bunch, it's useful to fight small groups because they can drop items and they're easy to kill. Whereas if you have no need for item upgrades in the area where you are, then I didn't need to do that. Uh, On this emulator keyboard setup, um, the key for that left arrow is the tilde key, the back quote. totally where I think it is. And I walked all around there. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, I sort of expected this. One-way walls. set the edge to this style. Probably me, without meaning to. Oh wait, 
No, I'm not even facing the right way. There's not a one-way wall there. I'm me and the Dumbo. But there will be a one-way wall right here. Yeah. And then to the west. Yep. I was pretty suspicious of this dead end. I was like, this, this is going to have a one-way wall come the other way. Okay, now I have to go the long way around. Okay, so the way forward now is definitely through this gap. And surprise, we can see that we can sense that spinner ahead. focus on the emulator still when I'm trying to do something on the mapping software. Oh well. It worked out. At some point though I'm going to step into a trap and be really pissed. There are no walls. You're, I'm gonna have to fight now. It's gonna like totally mess up my demonstration. Run away. So as I was saying, from this side there are no walls, but we stepped forward. Now to the south. Come on, compass. You guys are not cooperating with the demonstration. Now if we look to the south, there's a wall immediately behind us. that way. That way. So I went like this to show it off. Okay, this fight, I'm gonna fight. Uh, shade Leopards? I don't think I've... I fought Shade Cougars, but not Shade Leopards. Do I need cold? Are they, are they that dangerous? I'm gonna guess that they're not. And just go with a double mind blade. See where that leaves us. Well, mind blade only goes 50 feet or 60. How far away were they? I think they were 80, so never mind. I know that mind blade only goes, I thought mind blade went 60 feet. So, double mind blade killed nothing. We 
we're down to one Ape Ranger. And the Shade Leopards are going to sit at 80 feet away, uh, plinking away at us with summons. That seems to be the shape of it. So we will use melee men to try to pull them in. That's a wizard fist from Elendor killing off a set of hellhounds. And I apparently they successfully pulled them in because they're attacking me now. Attack the leopards. Do we need another wither fist? Probably not. We need to accept illusion for the window overs and maybe a rhyme. Rhyme Fang, I think it is. So this dungeon Bard songs do 10 points instead of 9. As an aside, I guess. I'm going to wither fist the cougars or leopards. So the progression of healing with bard songs at 10 points is a lot easier to calculate by hand. Round one, you get 10 points of healing across the party. Round two, 20. Round three, 30, and so on. The cumulative is triangular, so 10, 30, 60. 100, etc. Hellhound is not dying. I just wish my party members, the hand to hand guys, could just reliably kill some, just, just a couple, couple enemies a turn. That's all I'm really looking for.
Okay. Can I get anything good out of this? Gas cloud. Cloud. Uh, Not really. One fortieth of our progress towards an experience level. Not you again, I moan, as I face eleven rangers. How many will survive? One? Two? Oh, zero. say there are stairs there. It's like it thinks there are stairs in this corner. But when I go to that location, there are not stairs there. One possibility is, after I do something elsewhere in the level, there will be stairs there. Wow, those hellhounds have a lot more hit points than I thought. But a force of cold followed by a rhyme fang is enough to get rid of them. I need a song that makes me more accurate. That makes me hit more accurately. So supposedly if you hold a Thor's hammer, slowly increases your hit points like a troll ring does. I'm gonna drop the boomerang. But um, 
That implies you want to carry around a crappy weapon. And you can't change weapons in combat anyway, so... Oh, is this going to be a symmetrical room? Of course it is. works though if you know which side of the room you're on. Uh Elendor is gonna defend. There's no specific group that I feel is threatening. At least yet. Those Corsairs are, are definitely wrecking me, though. So maybe they should go. I wonder if it'd be more efficient to just do one wither fist on each group in terms of spell points spent. I think I may shift to that general strategy. It leaves Griselda and Lillian without that much to do. But that's okay. They can look pretty. Or cheer other people on. What is happening? I just got a weird stall. Okay, um...
So, uh, I did notice there's no way into this box with the somethings. There's probably a phase door into it later. special I detected. Was it a wraparound special? Or was it from the south? Okay, so from here I can see a special. Oh, it was a thing where I looked off the... Right, it was um, looking off the south edge of the map. There was a special. But I didn't know where the north edge of the map was, so it's in the corner. I guess I should kill the larger group of aliens as my priority. And then the nymphs as my second priority. A wandering creature offers to join your party. I don't think this is special for this square. I think this is just something that happened. Although it's suspicious, and if I can't make progress... I may have to come back here with a spot open in the party. Okay, there's just stairs here. So we... It, I, 
I don't know. I don't know why I could detect stairs west. And we're actually here. There's like some kind of distance warping effect going on here or a bug. Just go away, go away. I'm trying to figure out the size of this dungeon. Potentially, wait, I think that this is smaller, I'm not sure, but I think the below level, level is smaller than the above level. How did I end up with this stuff here? How did that happen? You know, look, it's the, it's, it's the same. Okay, anyway, um... I don't want this floor. Floor. Trash. So... There's something special to the east, and something special to the west. The only way available for us to move is the west. Let's just count it out. One. No. That was short. Physical cold. The evil in this place seeps through your flesh and worms its icy way to your bones. That doesn't sound friendly. Um, I. If I was not crazy. and we're the kind of people that keep on going under conditions like that. should have paid attention to the No, I don't I don't need to fight again. There should be a timer on that. Okay, so I can't tell anything from here. Leave me alone, please. Okay, so south is clear. I'm going to maybe even start marking things as clear. North is Spinner and Waver. Uh, without knowing how big the dungeon is, I'm not going to worry about marking those too much. Okay, and from here, I can tell there's a trap. So the trap is right here. There's a trap down here somewhere. clear.
10 Sable Rangers, sure. The no fights timer has expired. Oh, and Wither Fist is not enough to kill you all. Okay. So I tried out these frost horns. Uh, they do around 60 damage. It's not enough for me to think about not using a bard song for a round. So I'm throwing it away. Oh, that was not accurate. It didn't tell me about things because I was in loading a fight. Okay, so there's a something in the next three. Something it was not encountered yet, but here's a trap and a silence on the same square, which I don't have a way to represent. aren't on this squares. But I should have checked south. Okay, so there's a qui oh. there's a quiet. Confirmation that there's a trap here. And there not, is not a trap here, no matter how far forward we push. So, those two traps are there in these spots. and I stepped there by serendipity. And there's a something on the other edge of the world, uh, on the other side of the dungeon.
think I'm engaged in a fight right here. And I think I can see that. Wizards be gone. Oh, I'm uh, I've reached time. So Pardon me, my our progress on the upper level. Pretty good, it's complete. But our progress on the lower level, not so hot. Thirteen thousand experience. You can actually divide this by approximately two to get the percentage advance. That's like around seventy percent, seven percent of the way to the next level, I guess. Does that work? Because uh, if it's forty thousand. I guess you have to divide it by four. I'm so addicted to seeing what's in the next room. I love the mapping process. Uh, okay, so that discovery accidentally of darkness by moving forward without intending to. I'm gonna call this segment. Saving a uh, saving my game. So I don't lose too much. See you all next time.